Alrighty, so that's water coming out of our ramp pump. 200 foot down that way. It's pretty awesome. It's about eight foot of rise over about only about three foot of drop. And it's pushing water up here. Did a test earlier this morning. It was pumping out a gallon every minute and 15 seconds. So figured it out to do about 3,000 gallons in uh, about 62 hours. So all without electricity. It's pretty awesome. There it is. I mean, we're going to use it up here by our chickens. There's the chicken coop and there's the rabbits and there's the chickens down in there. So pretty awesome. And uh, I'll just go show you the pump. Alrighty, so there's the pump running. Runs off no electricity, just the flow of water. And uh, that tube coming out, you see that 3 8 inch side diameter vinyl tubing. And you need that because you, your drive pipe, which is 3 quarter on this one, 3 quarter inch PVC, your outlet has to be half the size. And so I tried it with a half inch like a lot of people were doing. And it just wasn't working. I wasn't getting much flow, much pressure or anything. So I went down to McCoy's down here in Floresville and got us some vinyl tubing in South Texas. So there it is. This is just a dry creek, you know. And We got a bunch of rain last night, so I was trying it out. Just works off two check valves. And there you can see the creek and the pipe going along. Right there, down in there. And there's our little dam we made. We had so much rain, it doesn't really need a good dam. Just needed to be something to pool the water high enough for our pipe, which is right in there. And if you look close enough, you can see the water in its uh, pulses or whatever, you know. You can see the dirt moving. So, a little bit of flow of water there, and it's pumping it all the way up there by our chickens. Get you a better angle here. So, there they are, all the way up in there. So, so here's just a little clip of a uh, pump running, real time. Again, it pumps a gallon and a quarter every, or... Er, a gallon every minute and a quarter. Then the reason the tubing goes up like that in a circle is so the dirt can collect down there in that the tube next to can't get a good angle on it from the shadow. But it's down in there, the tube runs down there, and it goes in a loop right next to that stick. And uh, the dirt collects down in that thing so you don't get dirt at the end of your pipe. So that works pretty good. So our dam, we just made it out of a piece of OSB and uh, just kind of put it in there. One night it was really going good, so it kind of tilted it back but we just put a stick in behind it and shadowy we just put a stick behind there if you can see um and that really worked good for holding it up and it probably would have washed out if i didn't have it in there and then we just on this side you can see better we just put some mud and grass and whatever down in there and i was having a lot of trouble getting it to stay running because sticks would get caught in that waste valve. And so I put that little screen on there with a zip tie. And it keeps the good big sticks. And the rest of them just go through. I guess you wouldn't have that problem on a bigger pump. But this was just an experiment. We're going to build a bigger one for our garden up there. So you can kind of see the garden. Fencing and all that right there. There's our tomato plants. So, yeah. So I guess the chickens have started eating in our water and whatever so that's pretty cool it's only been going up here for about three minutes so they were just drinking and sipping in the water and stuff and that's the easter egg right there this one
the plain one, and then those other four are Dominiques. So 